Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Art. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different and something that I usually don't do. So I'm getting a lot of comments on my videos about the different kinds of wyvern nests and stuff like that. A lot of people didn't realize, I guess, that there's actually all the flavors of the dragons on this one map. It makes it super nice. So what we're gonna do is we'll fly around, I'll show you the coordinates and the locations for all of the flavors. And then we'll also stop by, in case you didn't know, I'll show you where you can get Magmasaur eggs. I'll show you where the Rock Drake Nest is, so you can get your eggs from that as well. And then we'll make two special stops. There's two points of interest you should definitely take a look at while you're on this map. One is the Lunar Cave. It's kind of like an underwater secret area. I'll show you the entrance coordinates for that. And then the Abyssal Depths. So we recently built our underwater base. And I'm not sure if I showed the coordinates for it or not. I've gotten some comments asking where it's at. So we'll stop by. I'll show you how to get down to that. It's definitely somewhere you should visit. Super hostile. Make sure to take some good tames. But we're going to take the Shadow Mane for the water stuff. And we'll take the Bat to fly on as well. So, let's start off over here. Seeing how we're so close to everything. We'll fly over and there's three things over here that we're going to do. We'll do the Fire Wyvern Trench. We'll do the Magmasaur Cave. And then just on this side over here is where the kind of you go down for the Lunar Biome. And then we'll head over this direction is where we'll go to the abyssal depths and then we'll teleport to the other realms and show you the other flavors of dragons so it's kind of a it's kind of like a little tour today so i'll see you up here by the magmasaur cave and the fire wyvern trench and we'll kind of go from there all right so we're coming up on the dragon trench here this is for the fire wyverns it's a fairly long trench i got it set to where we won't get any aggro so i don't have to worry about fighting with the creatures while i'm trying to show you the coordinates for this one is roughly 86 70 and i'll show you on the map we're at the bottom right down there just on the volcano island can't really miss it there are runes in here and then there's a ton of dragon eggs all depends on how your nests are right sometimes they're full sometimes they're empty and then there's a place to go up and down right there that'll allow you to walk down here if you don't want to use a flyer it's <laughs> it's definitely a different method for grabbing the eggs but dude there's a ton of them here so if you want to get magmasaur eggs it's kind of like a two-in-one deal right you can come through here you can grab your dragon eggs, hopefully make it out safe. There's a nest up there. And then the magmasaurs are right down here. The only problem is, if you're going just for the magmasaur eggs, sometimes there's a bunch of wyverns down here. And you will get aggro from both trying to go into the cave. And they will follow you. <laughs> I found that the hard way. They will follow you. You can only fly in the magmasaur cave here with one of the Desmodus, right? One of the bats. You can't fly on a normal creature. And then here's the coordinates for that. So for the Magmasaur Cave, you're looking at 9580, and that'll put you down here, bottom right of the map as well. It's it's not very hard to find. It's literally just at one end of the Dragon Trench, right? And as you come in here, you've got your Rock Elementals. We have one just spawning in front of us. You've got a bunch of runes as well, so definitely keep your eye out. Your normal Scorpions, Centipedes, and your Bats. So you can get Rabies. I've gotten them in here myself. Kind of a pain, but it's a very good area to get your Metal. You've got some of the red gems down here. You don't get red gems from them, though. You get the, the like, the element shards, right? So it's kind of nice, man. Easy way to get element shards, because you need them to run your tech generator and stuff. And here is the Magmasaur area. It's a big loop, so you can't really get lost. You can either go that way or this way. And then there's a couple places for the nests. you got a nest right there. Spawns in between one and three eggs. You've got a second one over here that also spawns in between one and three eggs. So we've got some in each one. And then back in the corner over here is another area. No eggs. You can also find a ton of black pearls, which looks like we're starting to get some to spawn back in. I went through here and cleaned it all out recently. But that's your three areas for the magma source. Like I said, there's some runes in here as well. Take a couple up on that bridge and so. And the next place we'll stop at, I'll show you where you can get down to the lunar area. It's kind of in the ocean. A little bit sketchy, but it's awesome once you get down there. All right, so this next area is going to be for the underwater, kind of like the lunar secret biome. So, there's some green grass down there. You can kind of see it. Show you our coordinates and where we're at on a map. We are roughly at 8897. All the way on the far right side. We're literally right by the map border. If you come down in here, you can kind of see it glows, right? So that grass barely sticks out of the top. And there is a small entrance here. There's a ton of megs and stuff like that around. All you gotta do is fly down. You've got everything from pearls down here. There's some metal. There's some of the trees for fungal wood and stuff. And you'll see this kind of like a little tech door. And once you get in, <laughs> you're floating, man. See, well, let's get off of our shadow main for this. It's a little bit hard. 
But as you navigate through here, it kind of twists and turns, and then you'll get down into where, kind of like the, the main chamber is, right? There's all kinds of the light pets. I think there's all the flavors of the light, light pets in there. There's nothing else. I haven't seen any other creatures, so it's definitely an area to check out. It's awesome, man. But we'll go up here, and I'll show you what it looks like before we head to the next area. All right, so we just came down the long corridor. It's, it's fairly long, but then you get into the areas like this, right? There's three different chambers. There's this one. Right up there is one that branches off to the left, and another one that kind of goes off straight there. And that's about it. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's kind of a neat area to build in, man. There's no creatures except for the light pets. I don't see any that are spawned in. But you, uh, <laughs> you float all throughout here. You've got some resources down here, as well as some blue crystals, in case you need any for building and stuff like that. So it looks fantastic, man. Cool little area. And then, like I said, you got a couple of these, right? They're just little, little portal rooms, right, that has like a little floating island so it's kind of neat man definitely somewhere to check out next stop will be the abyssal depths it's uh that's <laughs> not a safe area but it's somewhere you should definitely check out as well all right so our next stop is the abyssal depths a good place to start off to find this one is over on kind of like the swamp island it's on the left side of the map over there kind of see us right there if you start off over here you got the blue obelisk there for reference all you have to do is come straight out in the water, and you are literally <laughs> right where you need to be. Let's go down a little bit. That is going to be our entrance right there. So the coordinates for this is roughly 5117. Again, there we are on the map, just out in the water there, so you don't have to worry about going too far. Just find the uh, find the island there. And all you have to do is swim down in here. You can fit a Moza. I take mine down in here, and it's a it's kind of a neat area. Super sketchy, man. Good place to farm runes because you've got alpha mosas and you've got alpha squids. As long or as well as the normal counterparts of those as well. There's uh, a ton of resources. You got some pearls. You got some black pearls. There's a lot of stuff down here, and then you can follow that spine. It kind of goes all the way around the the perimeter of it. Fairly large. You can see one of the mosas right there. They're usually waiting right here for you <laughs> as soon as you come in. You've also got pleasies. That's the only thing I've really seen in here is like. Some jellyfish, you got pleasies, moses, and squids. That's the uh, the main main stuff in here. And then this is the one entrance. It's kind of right at the edge of the spine from that from that one skeleton. So long as you find that, you can find your way back out. Next stop, we'll go to the next dragon trench. We'll head over to Vanaheim. That's the green portal, and we'll go in and I'll show you where you can get your poison wyverns at. So for this next one, like I said, we are in Vanaheim. This is going to be for the poison dragons. Super simple to find. You have your portal right there that you come through. All you have to do is follow this trail. It goes all the way down to like a little river. We've got our little teleporter set up there. And then it's just off to the right. You can't really miss it. If you come here at nighttime, you've got the lovely lights right there. Kind of light your way. Just kind of follow those down. So each one of the flavors of dragons are in the different portals. So it's kind of nice. Each one has their own little thing. And then here is the river right down here. As soon as you get to it, all you have to do is hang a right. You can do this on foot or on a team. The only thing is you have a waterfall to get up. So make sure to bring a grapple. And again, just look for the kind of like the, the wyvern trench stuff, right? And as you get up here, the rough coordinates for the entrance are 1264. You can kind of see it's up there at the top of the map. That'll bring you here. And as you come in, it's kind of a straightforward thing, right? It's straight in. And then at the back part here, it loops around. You've got egg nests on both sides that are usually fairly full. I've noticed that the poison dragon, there's always a bunch of, well, there's a bunch of dragons in here. But you also have a bunch of eggs. You've also got runes like usual. It's kind of shallow water, most of this. You can swim down in some of it. But again, it just loops around the back there, and it comes right back out here. Fairly easy in and out, as long as you don't get attacked by the dragons. Just saying, it happens. They do have the poison gas balls. So bring a gas mask. I always forget mine. It'll definitely save your life. Next stop will be over in the cold biome for the ice wyverns. All right, so for the ice wyverns, you have to come over to Jotunheim. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's just the cold biome. The only thing is, make sure to bring some hot water if you have a tech canteen. Otherwise, you can need some medical brew, maybe an otter, stuff like that. You can see the portal right there. All you're going to do, again, is follow this path. Stay on the main path. This will go all the way to the north side of the little kind of realm in here and you'll kind of run into the dragon nest. So we'll get up here, and I'll kind of show you a little tour of the trench. All right, so long as you stayed on the left side and kind of followed it around, like I said, 
You're gonna come through these little bones right here, and then right off on the right here is where the trench goes down. So it's one way in, one way out like usual. There is a path that walks down into there, so you can go on foot. I would recommend a flyer, and at the back side of it is where it actually goes into a cave. So as you come down here, on this back side here, that's where you walk down. That's the path right there. You've got the right side. There are no eggs over there, so don't go that way. There are some runes, so it's definitely somewhere to check out. But on the left here, this is where you want to go. It starts with the nests here. You can kind of see there's an egg there, and then it comes down into a cave area. So this is kind of super sketchy. <laughs> there's usually a couple that are back in here, and this is where I found the high-level eggs. There's no dragons in here at the moment, though, so it's kind of nice. But there's three nests. There's one there, one there, and then the one by the entrance. This is where I found the higher level ones so far. So, yeah, definitely have to come all the way back in here. You can't really fly out. So that is a little bit of a hazard. And that's it, man. That's an easy way to get your ice dragon eggs. And it's not too far from the portal, right? If you need to run out, you can head up the path over there. And it kind of leads straight over to where you need to exit out. So, kind of makes for a quick getaway. So next up will be Asgard. We've got two things over there. We've got the Lightning Wyverns, and we also have the Rock Drakes. Alright, so over here in the Asgard portal, we've got two different directions for the two different creatures. So, as you come in, if you're looking for the Lightning Wyverns, you're going to look for that big skeletal area right there. It kind of drops down in, and that'll lead to the trench. If you're looking for the Rock Drake eggs, what you're going to do is... It's kind of hard to see. Way out over there, you're looking for the purple. The purple trees. That'll take you by where the shadow mains are, but that's also where the cave is for the rock drakes. So that's where you go for the eggs. We'll go there next. Let's head over here, do the dragons first, and then we'll go over and I'll show you where you can get the shadow mains and the rock drake eggs. Alright, so we are on the other side of the skeletal area that we saw. That's a big creature there. And then all you have to do is head down, and there's a lovely little cave entrance. So let's get up here and I'll show you the coordinates. So the entrance for the Lightning Wyverns is roughly 30 and 7. We're all the way on the far left top of the map there. You can kind of see us spinning around. That'll bring it here. This used to be where you'd go into for one of the Titans that got removed from the mod map. Turn the lights up so we can see. So all that's in here is a dragon drilling. It's, uh, <laughs> it's kind of sketchy. Not gonna lie, you've got some bats, you've got some centipedes and snakes. As you come in, there's a dead end right there. That used to be where you'd go for the Titans whenever it was here. That was a Desert Titan. But here's a trench, man. Kind of sketchy. It's a very, very small area. You've got a couple of the nests. you got one right there. You've got a couple down along the way here. And as it goes down in, there's only one dragon in here. Interesting. However, <laughs> that's quite a few eggs. But yeah, come in here. Oh, it looks like they're in the wall. Kind of see them kind of glitched in. But it's one way in, one way out. So it's definitely not a safe area. The only area... For the dragons that are somewhat safe is the fire one. Mainly because it's a whole open trench on the top. And you got multiple ways to get in and out. But yeah, that's where you go, man. That's uh, I definitely recommend putting a bed up here. <laughs> just in case. They are lightning ones, man. They got a very, very long range. So let's head over and I'll show you where the rock drake nest is before we go. Alright, our final stop for our tour for today is over here in the purple zone. So there's two different purple zones. There's the north one. In the south one. The south one is not the one with the rock drakes. It's only the north side here. You've also got shadow mains that kind of spawn in on the island and off along the side. So if you're looking for those, good place to come. So where we're going to is over here on kind of like the south side of the purple zone. Go ahead and land right here. Show you the coordinates. It's a very, very small cave to get into. We are roughly 41, 49. Right there, almost in the middle of the map. Can't really miss it. So something you can use, if you tame an Andrew Sarkis, you can come in here, there is radiation, and they're kind of like their little turret saddle, will actually protect you. So it's kind of nice, it's an easy way to get down in here without a hazmat suit. The radiation doesn't start until right up here anyways, right where this crystal kind of comes across. That is where the radiation will start, on this side here. Of course I've got it set to where I don't take it right now, just so I can show you around. As you come in here, it's a fantastic looking cave. Very, very nice, man. Again, one way in, one way out, but there's a ton of rock drakes. So it's kind of one big huge chamber here. You got some nests here on the side, and then be sure to check these pillars in the middle. There are also some nests on them. I think on this back side is where this one is. Yeah, there's one there, but there's a ton of eggs every time I come in here. Lots and lots of eggs. So if you're looking to tame some basilisk, you can always keep your spare ones and use them for that. 
tons of rock drakes. And then again, on the sides here, there's also some... Some nests. So definitely check around, man. Fantastic area. And then, like I said, come here with an Andrew Sarkis because... With that saddle, it gives you enough time, right, where you can jump off and then jump back on after you grab your egg. I'm getting turned around. <laughs> and uh, you won't take too much radiation. And the Andrew Sarkis doesn't take it either. So it's kind of a kind of a win-win with those things. They can just head back out. It's kind of good over in Asgard because you've got so many creatures in this one realm. You've got the Shadow Manes, you've got the Rock Drakes, you've got some different R versions of creatures, plus the normal ones. So it's a little bit of everything, plus the Lightning Wyverns, you know? Let's get up out of here. And there are some runes down in there. So like I said, be sure to check all the areas, man. There are a ton of runes. That'll get you some more levels and stuff like that. Well, not too bad of a day. Thinking I would just show everybody the locations for those things, seeing how so many comments are on my videos about people not knowing that there were different flavors of the wyverns and stuff like that on this map. You can find all of them here. Fantastic place to grab them if you're wanting to get a full collection. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed our little tour. Like I said, I don't do these videos too often like this, but we're going to go ahead and show you some locations. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.